Well, folks, I set up another tank in the basement. It's a 20 gallon tall. And the reason I did, I was at Walmart and they had the stand marked with a big yellow sticker, $36. So I just had to get it, whether I used it for a tank or maybe put plants. So I got it home. And then I thought about it, and I said, ah, Petco's right half a mile away. So off I went to Petco, and I got a, I think it's 50% off. Uh, they used to have the dollar or a gallon sale, but now it's more like 40 or 50% off tanks. So I got this one for about $25. And uh, so I set it up. Uh, this time I have a Aster, Aster 20, I think it's called. I had that for a long time, but I hardly used it. So I put that on there so I get that nice uh, shadowy uh, system there. So I put in my rocks. Oh, I put in, um, this is three different. Uh, substrates. I have the safety absorb, very s small amount, just enough to cover the bottom. Then I have eco complete because I had a bag laying around, and then black diamond sand on top. And uh, I don't like the look, but it changes when it gets older, it loses that sparkle. But anyway, that's all I have there. I put some. Uh, homemade uh, root tabs from uh, Osmocote. Let's see, two, four, five of them are spread around, and uh, which I'm worried about doing that. And then I took some plants from upstairs, just little remnants of plants. I put some s rep in. Um, a towel, no, that's uh, a coca. And this is um, Rotella, Ro, Ro, what is it, Rotella, um, geez, my mind is gone, Rotundifolia, Rotella, Rotella Fundia, <laughs> it's hard to say. And uh, a, I took the sword out of there because the uh, bow was strangling it. So I put a sword in there. I got a little java fern just squeezed between the rocks. And some giant baby tears I took from upstairs just a little bit. And uh, a crypt. I don't know which crypt this is. It's got a little green in the middle and brown. We'll see if that survives because it was really buried in the other day. And that's it. I got a little piece of driftwood there. And I, uh, oh, I got some, uh, what is up in there? Oh, I had a piece of, uh, no, I didn't put it in this tank. Oh, yeah, there's a uh, java fern back there. And uh, that's about it. We'll see how it goes. I put a heater, but it's not connected. I, mean, I have to decide what I'm putting in this tank, if it's just going to be, uh, cherry shrimp or fish or what but that's it so far and uh, oh and uh, I'm not running a sponge filter I'm running a hang on back that's a whisper 20 I think whisper 20 IQ I'm not sure of the name it's very good it's got the pump inside the tank so you don't have to worry about restarting it uh, and that's about it We'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching.